Hey guys, it's Visual Moss here, obviously. How are you guys doing? I never ask you guys like how you're doing and I care about you. So how are you doing? You okay? Good? All right. <laughs> anyway, so today I'm gonna be organizing my dog closet. I have a specific closet set aside for all of my dog stuff and it's been in need of being organized. And so I've been kind of putting it off and I'm finally gonna do it. It's gonna be great, it's awesome. So yeah, I also want to mention that in this video you're going to see that my dog's kibble is in a plastic container. It has been brought to my attention that it's actually not safe to put dog kibble in a container because the plastic can seep into... Seep? I don't... How have we not use that word? It's a weird word. Transfer. The plastic toxins can transfer into the kibble. I'm not completely sure if that's 100% true, but I would definitely research it before you decide to organize it that way. Um, I'm actually going to change up how I organize it after this video. You can also just go ahead and keep the kibble in like the original bag it came in and just put the bag in the container if you want to like put it away and you know have it enclosed and all that stuff. But yeah, it's definitely something to look into and I'm going to be changing it after this video. So yeah. So basically my closet is in this room it's right there and it's been looking like a mess and i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys everything i have to organize it wait are you kidding A different day and I didn't forget something at the store and had to go back for it but anyway we're gonna move on <laughs> this this is what I forgot at the store yesterday and had to go back today to get it so there's that <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and explain everything that I got to organize this closet and explain details all that stuff yeah, it's great. So now that I have everything that I need, so starting with what I actually forgot, I'm gonna explain. So I forgot a curtain rod at the store and I had to go back and get it. The reason I need a curtain rod is because this closet actually doesn't have a rod. It's like literally the only closet in this house that doesn't have like a, like one of those bars. Um, so I got a curtain rod to make a bar across that so I can use it to hang up stuff that I want and everything like that. So that's, that's that. And then this shower caddy, I actually got it for my shower and I've been using it, but I actually don't like the way it is in my shower. I plan on getting um, like shower shelves instead. So instead of this just like kind of going away somewhere and not being used, I decided to reuse it. And so I'm gonna be putting it in this closet and using it to put some of the dog's stuff in it. And I'm gonna use these hooks as well to hang up something as well. And then over here, I have some command strips obviously to hang up stuff. I actually got this, which is gonna go on the rod. Um, I kind of just like discovered this at Walmart and thought it would be pretty cool to use to organize some stuff. So it's basically just like these, you know, like organizer, like little cubicle things that just hang up by a rod and you can just like put stuff in the little sections. So obviously I'm gonna be putting some of the dog stuff in there once I get it hung up. Also, yeah, I totally got this. I forgot this was in here. This is, <laughs> this is a fur saver. Um, and batteries. I don't don't need that either. Oh my gosh, I'm such a mess. Okay, anyway, and I, I don't really need that either. <laughs> anyway, so um, I have these clear baskets that are actually going to go on the top shelf up there. I'm going to use to organize two separate things. Uh, I'm going to put grooming supplies in one of the baskets and then the other basket I haven't fully decided yet, so... We'll see how it goes. The last thing is obviously Storm's service dog gear. Um, this is kind of how I've been putting it um, until I can organize the dog closet that I am going to now. So now it's going to go into the dog closet. 
but this is how it's like been for since I moved in it's just been sitting on a hanger in here because I didn't really want to like lay it on the floor because I actually care about my gear so yeah I just have Storm's vest and then her uh, harness and cape right there but I'm gonna be hanging up in the closet like I said you excited to have a new organized closet are you where's cloud at cloud where are you at cloud oh you're over there hello you excited you so excited yeah you so excited <laughs> i look pretty rough right now i've been really stressed out so like my face has been breaking out and my hair is just really frizzy it's just we're gonna roll with it it's so whatever that's pretty much all the details so let's just get into actually organizing first i have to take everything out of the closet how much fur is in like just dirtiness is in that closet so i'm gonna vacuum it out and everything like that and then we're gonna get to organizing it so exciting <laughs> Okay, so this is what it's looking like at the moment. Um, kind of looks like a mess. Yeah, it is a mess. But I've tried to organize everything. So all of this is grooming supplies. Um, these two things right here are gonna go in a certain place. These, all these things are gonna go on that. Those are gonna go on that too. Uh, I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this stuff yet. It'll probably go on that as well. Uh, leashes, because I put command strips in here that I'm gonna actually hang up the leashes. Um, these collars, I put all the collars together, and then this stuff is going to go in a certain area too. So, yeah, and then that's going to go in a certain spot as well, I have planned. But, 
Um, the things that are going to go on here, I still have to kind of figure out like which ones because I kind of want the more used things, like the more common important things on the top and then some more of the like less important things on the bottom, if that makes sense. Yeah, so I just have to figure that out. And then um, the other things that I said that have a space are going to go in these bins. So yeah, I'm going to end up doing that as well.
I also have to use my phone flashlight because it's dark in this room and the camera isn't doing well in low light all of a sudden today. So yeah, that's what we're gonna have to do. But I'm gonna go ahead and explain everything and where everything is. I am like actually in love with this setup, like a lot. I mean, later on it might change, um, you know, depending on if like I get any new stuff, anything like that. But for now, this is how it is, and I am absolutely obsessed with it already. So down here, obviously, I have um, <clears throat> their kibble. I really don't like the color of the top of this uh, container. I might end up getting a new one for their dog food, but this is the one for now, because I just got this one um, when I first moved here, so that was kind of the thing. Down there, I ended up keeping that beach bag in here because I do use it a lot for the dog's stuff, because it's just such a big bag, and it's just easy, like accessible to get to things. And I like to, to carry multiple things with me when I go to the field to let them like run and play like with toys and stuff like that. So it's kind of just nice. So I just kept it in here. Over here I have two command strips. I have one right there and one right there. And the bottom one is for Storm's working leashes. So there's hands free and then there's a traffic lead right there. And then this top one right here is for the dog's everyday leashes. So just regular um, dog leashes. And yeah, just storm and clouds. Up here is their harnesses. Pretty self-explanatory, it's the only thing that's up here. Uh, I use these a lot, like way more than anything in here. So I put them at the very top so it's easier for me to grab them. Uh, the pink one's obviously storms and the, the blue one's obviously clouds. Down here, I don't really like that this is on the second level, but um, I use it more than the bandana. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just put it here. I actually ended up filling up the space. I said I was, probably wasn't going to, but I did. So that's kind of nice. But I have obviously all of their uh, light up collars right there. I have water bowls, foldable water bowls. And then I have that measuring foldable uh, thing right there. So yeah, hype disease. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, bless me. Thanks. Um, anyway, so then I have all their bandanas. I can't really like use my hand in the, so I'm going to put this down real quick. I have this top one, birthday girl, and then I have this one right here, that one, these two. It's just a mixture of storms and clouds. Like there's Cloud's name right there. And then I have some banded pines ones. Um, I'm not going to end up getting any more banded pines ones, but um, the all the top ones are made by Nomadic Tales on Etsy. I love them a lot. And actually, if you ever order from them, you can use the code STORMCLOUD to save money. Anyway, so moving on to the second one, I've got both of the girls' uh, rough wear boots. They're in their own little separate uh, drawstring bags so that, that, that they came with. I just keep them in the bags. They each have their own socks as well, so that's another reason why I keep them in the bags. It's just so the socks are together as well. Then I have Storm's Rec, uh, Rec Specs. I do plan on getting uh, Cloud a pair of Rec Specs. I just haven't gotten to it yet because uh, Cloud wouldn't use it as much as Storm does because Storm uses it for outdoor stuff and working depending on what area she has to work at. So like when we went to amusement park, she wore the Rec Specs. So that's the only reason why Storm has them now and Cloud doesn't, but I do plan on getting Clouds in the future and it will go there. Um, then I have some toys down here. I have the Chuck It Frisbee. It's like a waterproof Frisbee. I have the regular Chuck It. It actually sticks out a little bit, but I don't really want to put it anywhere else, so it's fine there. Then I have Storm's Flirt Pole. If you don't know what a Flirt Pole is, it's just a, it's just a toy to help build drive. That's pretty much what it is, and Storm loves it a lot, so... Um, then down here I have my cooling coat, my rougher cooling coat. I actually plan on getting another one in the future for both the dogs because uh, this one's mostly for Cloud just so she doesn't get overheated. But I, I will use it for Storm if she goes working in a hot area, etc. like that. But I do plan on getting two just so they can have their own in case both of the dogs need it for a certain thing. I have some extra chuck it balls in case I ever end up losing that one. That's actually the longest chuck it ball I've ever had. And now that I say that, I'm probably gonna jinx it and lose it. But I have some extras just in case. And then I have this uh, bonker down here. Or, and then I have this, whatever it's called. I forget what it's called, but it's mostly used for like dock diving or whatever, like swimming, it's a swimming toy. So I have that. Then over here, here's the shower caddy being used. I actually like it a lot. I didn't think I was, I I kept thinking it was going to look weird in here, but it actually really doesn't. It kind of ties in pretty well. So on the top shelf, I have uh, their Instinct Raw Mixers. 
And then I'm gonna use that top shelf for whatever like supplement food things that I get for them. Uh, right now that's the only thing I have, but later on obviously I'll get more supplements like I plan on getting fish oil and all that stuff. So the second shelf, I have a bunch of poop bags, like a bunch, cause this, this is actually not even all that I used to have. I've lost a lot of poop bags, I don't even know. I had a whole box of them that I bought from Amazon that was like 12 bucks, just like a whole box of them. And I, I lost the box during like moving and stuff, so I have no clue where that's at. If I find it, I'll put it in here, but these are the ones that were in here that I could find, so yeah. And then I have some from like PetSmart that are like scentable or whatever. That little filing thing right here, right here is all of their vet records. Um, it has their licensing in there and it has the rabies tags in there. Um, it also has Storm's AKC uh, registration tag in there as well. So it's just like pretty much all the dog's paperwork is in there. And then over here I have hanging uh, right here. Oh God, I'll maybe just put my phone down. Oh, you can't even see, wow. Um, over here I have this little camo, it's a little poop bag um, thing that I use a lot. I actually use this a lot, but I liked it because it was camo and it just looks cute. It looks like a little wallet thing, but it has a uh, carabiner right there and then the poop bags come out of here. It's actually empty. Like literally last time I used it, I emptied it out, so I have to fill it up, but I have it hanging there. I might actually change it from where it's hanging because I had originally planned on hanging the dog, uh, Storm's service dog gear on these two racks, but it ended up kind of colliding with the um, container and I need to be able to open this up so I ended up putting command strips back here and putting her service dog gear back here so there's her mobility setup with her cape and harness and then here is her designer doodle vest on another one right there so I actually like that they're better too because I felt like that back wall was a little bit empty um, so the other thing too is that this setup is a lot heavier than that one so it was like moving this it was like making it slanted and stuff and making everything on it fall off so that was kind of rough anyway moving on so obviously i had this shower rod in here to be able to hang this thing up but i also went ahead and used it to hang the collars up so here's all of their collars there's a few that i'm actually going to get rid of that i'm not going to keep and i plan on getting new collars so uh this one i'm keeping these two I'm getting rid of. This one I'm actually selling, like I mentioned before, I believe. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and comment down below or DM me on Instagram. Um, and then I have two leather collars back there that I don't really use as much anymore, but I might keep them just in case I want to. Then I just got this beauty actually yesterday. I am absolutely in love with it. Before you ask in the comments, it's a canine tactical gear collar. I'm gonna try to put this down so I can show. It's hard to hold everything. It's a canine tactical gear collar. It says it right there. Yep. Up, it's upside down, but it will. And I bought this medic patch for it. And then I had a, a patch that is Storm's name. It's in the color rose gold. They don't have the rose gold anymore. It was a limited edition type thing. So it was only available for a certain time. And I snatched it. And I also actually have uh, one for Cloud. I'm gonna try to pull that out right now. I don't know if you saw it or not, you probably did, but I'm gonna see if I can pull it out real quick. Sorry that the noise in the background is so loud, but this is Clouds right here. It's an Opal, it was another limited edition one, and I just snatched it while I could. I ended up getting the patches before I even got the collar, so I've had the patches for a while just because they were limited edition. I wanted those colors, and then I just got the collar for it the other day and I still have to order Cloud's collar. Cloud's is gonna be the same collar, but it's gonna be uh, a gray color. So mm -hmm. there's the patch for hers. It's a really pretty opal. Mm -hmm. I like it a lot. So yeah, it's still in the little bag that it came in. It really sucks that they decided to do this on the day that I was recording this. <laughs> Cause it has been pretty quiet the past few days and all of a sudden this day they wanna make a lot of noise. Anyway, so yeah, I have those collars. I do plan on getting clouds, so once I get clouds, it will go hanging up right there too. Um, and then up here, you guys saw me organize these two bins. This one's all for grooming supplies, and this one's all for training supplies. So it's all just kind of like training and miscellaneous little stuff that I don't want to lose, like their dog tags and stuff too that I that don't really have a place or I don't want to lose it. So their dog tags are in there and then all of their training supplies are in there and then if you can see I put another miscellaneous thing which is Storm's puppy collar that I want to keep and um, the pool strap that I don't really use anymore. But yeah, so that's how it is. It's all done, you like it? Your stuff is all organized? 
Look at that. Your stuff is all organized. Isn't that nice? I know. I know. Okay, guys. So that's my closet. It was actually a few day project. I did a few things prior to like pre-recording and everything like that. But I'm really, really satisfied with how it turned out. Like I really am. I love it a lot. And it's, it's probably mostly going to stay like that for a while at least. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you in the next one later.